Well, I'm walking over to see Jim's gold ring, but I just found this. Oh, <laughs> no, it's marked. Yeah. It's all, got all sorts of writing on the inside. Yeah. All right, I'm back at the beach. <clears throat> Gonna go uh, hit it before work. There were a lot of targets out here last night, so I'm hoping. I know my buddy Dave's here, and I know my buddy Daniel's here. So, oh, I see them down the beach. So I'm gonna walk down there and see how they're doing. Check out Dave's treasure. He got, I've only got one of these in my life, which is a full-size Eisenhower dollar. He got this really big ring. He thinks it's junk, but I think he needs to That's check it. Junk. Here. And hold on, we got a little silver ring and let's see what the good, ooh, I feel it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a heavy one. I'm calling seven or eight grams. Nice. Oh, look at that, huh? And there's your little uh, bite, skull, skull. Look at that. Bones. That is pretty with a tiger's eye in it. That's a nice ring, 14. Dave. Yeah. That's 14. Hell yeah. Heavy Metal Dave is living up to it. Now, there's a ton of targets out here, but most of them are iron with high tone. Dave did get that beautiful gold ring, though. Man, that thing's gorgeous. And, uh, and a dollar coin, which I think is so cool. So I think I have a high tone. I think this is gonna be a quarter. That's what I think. No, I think it's gonna be either a penny or a dime. Yeah, I think it's a dime. I see it right there. It's a dime. And uh, lately I've been trying just to kind of dig mid-tones, but I am now I'm gonna kind of try to dig everything just to see if we can clear out some of these high tones. Trying to find whatever this lowish mid-tone, it was a negative 18. Um, and it's just this, whatever the heck it is, just fragment of junk. <laughs> I think it's copper. Now it's a negative 16. I'd like to get it out of here and maybe see if that's affecting the hole next door. Negative 18 still, so it may. Now it's a 98, so there may have been something else in that hole. I think it's gonna be a quarter, so I think that's what was giving me the high tone. Well, maybe not, maybe it's a... Should be a coin in here. <laughs> trying to get, I'm trying to get rid of the high tone so I can get below them. I, I found very few coins so far. I got one dime, and I think this is a coin Yeah, a quarter. It's a quarter, which is what I thought it was at first, but then it started going to dime penny. It's a quarter. In theory, you would think there'd be Well, and, and, and again, I think you're right. Was that a high tone, that brass ring? That, that, that brass ring, was it high? Well, I'm bringing up a 16. That's pretty low. That's low for for brass. Yeah, but I don't know, but <laughs> here, here, let's see what we get on the nine hundred. Dude, I'll tell you what, that is not. <clears throat> that does not sound like brass. And this. This even gave me a high number. This was like 19, which was surprising. Boy, this does not sound like brass, Dave. I've got eight, yeah, this coming up in 18. 
Oh, that's a high. 44. 44 on mine. Well, I don't know what that number means. That's high. I've, ne I've never found a, 40, a ring at 44. That, maybe my class ring might have been, uh-oh, about that. I wore the wrong, I wore the wrong shoes. They're, they're perfect for catching water. That's unbelievable, man. That thing is, no, but I mean, it sounds, it's good. You know what I mean? <coughs> Another dime. So Daniel has been the king of these bracelets lately. It looks real similar to, to one of the other ones he found. Yeah. I'm gonna call 14 carat on that bad dog. Did you search the hole to see if there's any chance there's more of it in there? Uh, not really. I would. That yeah, is pretty not stuff. Not too shabby. Boom, road gold. Road gold. Bring it. Wow. Yeah, it's a copper screw. I've got a really loud mid-tone. 50, which is way too loud. Maybe a zinc penny. Should be out. Yeah, I'm thinking zinc penny. Oh, it's a key. That's why it's so weird. Oh, but I just broke it. I'm trying to tap it. Uh, it's a GM, a GM door key. I recognize it from all the GMs I've owned. Well, here's what we're looking at. Daniel's got a little gold. Dave's got some gold. I am doing really well with little pieces of copper, but it is pretty as heck. A little overcast. What do you think? 65, 66 degrees out? Definitely very comfortable. We're in short sleeves. I got here, everybody was in a bundled up and then they unbundled. So there you go. All right, well, there's the scenic view. I have to go to work in about an hour give or take so I'm gonna see if we can find anything in the interim um, I was looking for this and I couldn't find it and then the wave came and Daniel was sit standing next to it all right Daniel just did the the gold bump and I think it's a big chain I think it's got a pendant on it too doesn't it with a pendant no just the chain oh but tied in knots yeah Ooh, it's a long one though oh man it might break, but yeah, there it is. Oh, Boom. shoot. That's pretty. Yeah, it is. Oh, look Yeah, no, go, no clasp on either end. It, it, got, it got yanked. Yeah. You know, it's got that real rich color, too. You know what? It might have actually been a complete chain that never had a clasp. Because if you look at these ends, it kind of looks like a rope that was... Uh, like soldered it together. Yeah, and so that's too small. It would it would have definitely been uh that's pretty though look at that excellent nice another wow. another faint whisper Santo Steco. yeah they got a nickel sounded amazing now i got a dime i was honestly hoping for a penny because i'd have the cycle then all right bye daniel daniel's leaving today Gonna miss him. Yeah, it is another good day in Southern California. Well, back at the beach, and if you look way down there past those palm trees, I see Jim on the left hand side of it, and I see Dave on the right hand side of it, and I saw Brad's car, so I know he's down here too. And uh, we're gonna walk down there and see what we can find. All right, here we go. It's kind of crazy. The last couple of days, well, really yesterday we started getting fog in the morning and then it got really hot in the middle of the day. Um, and then it got cold again in the evening. And right now it is actually pretty darn cold. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in shorts and I can definitely feel it. Um, but the day before that, we were setting records for how high it was. So, and I think tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna have more rain, so. Definitely having, uh, you know, kind of the beginning of our spring has been uh, a wet one. And, uh, you know, not that that's a bad thing. We definitely needed the water. It's kind of funny too. I was up at the car and I was putting on my shoes and I was thinking, you know, I think one of the reasons I love metal detecting so much is it's a lot like surfing. 
I love going with my friends and, and hanging out with my friends when I'm in the water surfing and the same thing it goes mountain taking, but it is something you can do alone. And you know, it's not truly a team sport in the sense that you have to, you know, have the whole team together to, uh, to do it. So there you go. That's my theory. <laughs> I don't know why that came to mind, but it did. So, and we're almost on the beach. And uh, again, I can see, I can see Jim down there swinging and digging. It looks like he's actually digging quite a bit. And I see Dave kind of coming up the beach over by the volleyball court. So here we go. Let me go say hi to Dave. I wonder if Brad, Brad really loves working the fire pits down there. And I don't see him anywhere. So I'm kind of wondering if that's where he's at. He's someplace around here. I know that because I saw his car. I don't see where he is though. I'm gonna go say hi to Dave. Okay, what's wrong with this picture? Jim is in shorts, I'm in shorts, and the guy that always wears shorts is not wearing shorts. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen you with pants on. I know. Well, you know, I open up the car door and I get this blast of freezing cold air and I yeah, it, it I definitely think I put the long pants on. It's you know? definitely chilly. Anything good? No. Well, we're here. Just a bling and a ring and a penny. Uh, yeah, a lot of sand, man. I don't think oh, I've ever yeah. seen this much sand here. Just this. Oh, blingosaurus. Hey, wait a minute. But. Hey, Brad. It's, it's I mean, strange. Dave, you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's just the catch, it just broke off, you know, it just. Uh, yeah, I think it's real light. Yeah, you know, I think you're I'm, right. I'm not, I mean, I'm sure it's not anything, anything good. You it's know. treasure, huh? It's still treasure. Oh well, yeah. Give you guys a little scenic view. Down there, there's just a beautiful little kind of beach uh, on the backside of there. There's some great tide pools. We used to jump off of a rock over there when I was a kid. Uh, but really, really pretty. And sometimes there's actually good surf right out there too. But there's a really good surf spot right off that jetty. And these people are out here swimming in this stuff right now. Uh, and I don't believe they had wetsuits when they went, which is kind of wild. Um, I do think I have maybe a bobby pin is what I think. Negative 17. If it was at any other beach, I'd be really excited by it. But I think it's going to be a bobby pin or something along those lines now it's a negative one it's going the right direction still kind of thinking bobby pin still thinking bobby pin okay oh where'd you go nope oh, still down there oh i think i just hit it Thirty-three. <laughs> I'm still thinking Bobby Pin, to be honest with you. <laughs> Man, I'm going down to China for this. Oh, bottle cap, I'll bet. You know what it is? Uh, I see something. I do see something. What is that? Huh. Oh, you know what that is? That actually used to be a chain. At one point in time, you can kind of see, obviously junk metal, but you can see the little chain links right there. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to call that jewelry. It's definitely a bit of a stretch. And I think it's got actually some sort of a little pendant or something maybe on it that was giving a tiny bit of a you know an actual low tone which is probably what made it sound kind of decent at first uh, where are you oh, do I see a little nail right there oh I think I did finally get my first bobby pin all right first bobby pin handled all right I got a mid-tone here now it doesn't sound very good and it can easily 
everywhere from the 30s to the 50s. Maybe a zinc penny. That's really weird. Now it's a 40 pretty much straight on. <clears throat> Maybe a pull tab or something. Still down there. It is all over the place. It just cannot make up its mind. Now it's going all iron. So it also could be a bobby pin. Sometimes they'll do some of that too, where they go up into a high tone, low tone. Go down here. If nothing else, I'm getting a good workout because I'm going to be digging and burying. Boy, it is a very confused tone. Oh, what is that? Ah, uh, what the hell is that? What is that? Is that jewelry? What is that? Oh, I think it's a bracelet. All right. We got jewelry. Oh, it's got these little... It's junk metal, but it's got these little Chinese wings on it. They're not real, obviously, but... All right, we got jewelry. I'm not bummed. Take that as an absolute win. I have what I think is going to be my first coin. Um, it's definitely consistently 72 to 77. Every once in a while, it jumps into the 80s, and I think it is going to be a dime. Still calling dime. It just jumped to 88, but I don't think it's. Cons I, it just. I'm really think it's gonna be a dime. Boy, it's a mystery. 72 to 84. Still dimeish. And I think I see a dime. I think that's what that is. Or is it a copper penny? It actually may be a copper penny. It is copper mini <laughs> right, fill in this hole first <clears throat> all right like I was never there okay let's go back to this guy okay definitely still in here Negative 11. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's going to be a, a 10 stake. Uh, I think it'd be funny if it's another bobby pin. It should be right there. Oh, is it a bread? No, that's not it. Where are you? Definitely hiding from me. There you are. What is that? Oh, I think it's like a little D ring for a, uh, like a, you know, usually they're on a strap. It's definitely iron. A little D ring. Oh, there's my nemesis. Even on these beautiful beaches, it blows my mind how many bottle caps float in. And uh, it says recycle on the top. <laughs> Nobody follows instructions anymore. I follow instructions. All right, I see the remnants of human inhabitants. That's right. It's the taste of summer. And truthfully, when I was a kid, this was my all-time favorite summer drink. I used to go to a camp out on Catalina when I was a kid. And a camp store had cactus cooler. And I loved it. Kind of wondering why people do this. Because if you look right there, there's a trash can. 
right? I can almost throw it into it, but I'll get it off the beach. They're everywhere. <clears throat> There's Brad. He has returned from Pirate's Cove. Let's see if Brad's found anything over in Pirate's Cove. Sorry about the nasally. I am just absolutely clogged up with allergies right now. Not sick, I promise. I won't get you guys sick. What's up, buddy? How is Pirate's Cove? I just a couple quarters, couple dimes, and a toy car. Well, you got me beat. Yeah, I, got, I, I got found the four quarters before I went over there. You? I got a junk uh, bracelet, a copper penny, and a lot of little pieces of iron. I just got my first bling, but it's, but it's all rusted, so. All right, I got, yeah, I got a little piece of bling chain that's all rusted. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's all rusted, though. Cheap crap. Yeah, well, it still it's counts. Something. It still counts. I ever tell you we were all together one time, and I got a, a bling... I got a, a chain, real thin, kind of like that, yeah. and then I had a bling, a bling um, uh, pendant on it. So I had it laying in my junk stuff at my metal detecting club, yeah. and one of the girls goes, "You know this chain's 14 karat." Really? But it had a total junk, and so the rust from the junk had gotten on the chain. Sure enough, you know, pulled the pulled the the thing off, and it was a 14 karat chain. Tiny, I mean, real, th like, about like that, like real thin. Yeah, but. yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Is it a pearl? I think not. It's a bead. We'll go see what Jim got. Jim went all the way down to the end of the beach and came all the way back. We got Brad over there, too. Jim's searching for something. What's up, buddy? What'd you get? Uh, you want to see it? Sure. Oh. It's massive. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Are you ready for this? Oh <laughs> my. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. That's a super small alien landing craft. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Everybody knows. Check out this little weeder dog. <laughs> There's another one. All right, got another iron signal, negative 18. A little bit of a high tone at the end of it. But uh, still reading. Now yeah, it's a 99 uh, again very much an iron signal. Keeping in mind, I am hunting with my Equinox 900 and I am hunting on all metal mode. And, uh, it seems to go deeper with all metal. It also uh, makes you hear everything, so. Yeah, I am going deep. <clears throat> also, iron often projects, so it's oftentimes in the side of the hole, but it's really hard to get an accurate reading as to where it is because it projects so much. So you'll find a 10 stake, for instance. Okay, all metal, negative nine, negative 10. And do I see a nail? What is that? Oh, it's a little hook. Arr, Captain Hook. Got a negative 16 here. Let's 
sounds like a bottle cap is what it sounds like. Oh, I think it's a bread tie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a, yep, bread twist tie. Great for seagulls. Not. Look at this little guy. How cute are you? <laughs> Cars. He won't give that frisbee up for anything. His favorite game is tug of war. He's awesome. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Come on, handsome. He's like, I got friends. He's got it. He's not going to get it. Oh, yeah. We hit you. <laughs> you just want that, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a little. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at him. Oh. Hold on, real tight. Real tight. Oh, stop it. Are you? Oh, he's going airborne. He knows I'm going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Almost. Dude, he catches about one out of 20. That's unreal. Yeah, he's fast. Oh, yeah. so cool. Well, I gotta, you know, it's going to rain. I feel, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little drizzle right now. Before, you know, next couple of days we're going to be watching the Masters on the couch. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are so cute. Wiggle down. I can't watch golf anymore. No? Oh, what a horrible. That was the worst throw. <laughs> so the trick is you hold the outer rim down. Like this. Okay, I got it. And if you throw it really hard as it swirls, then the rim will come up. Ready? Hold the one that's closest to me down a little bit. Yeah, like that, yeah. Alright. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, almost got it again. Oh, you almost caught it. Set. Well, it has got really cold. Jim's over there. He's sticking holes. Let's find the little teeny things, too. And, uh, I think it's a good time for me to start heading towards the car and going to work. It, it dropped 20 degrees since I've been on the beach. Oh, it's, it's freezing. Uh, a little piece of aluminum. Can slaw is what it's known as. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love that slaw. Canny slaw. It's pretty certain this is a. Still kind of think it might be a, a tent stake, but now it's acting like a quarter. Boy, now I think it is a quarter. 88. Yeah, that's funny. It was horrible. It was a 99 to start with, and it didn't sound good at all. I think, I think there's going to be a quarter in here. There's a quarter in there. There's a green quarter. Here you go. Got a quarter. Quarter and a penny so far. Well, I see it from here. Oh, mylar. It's some sort of mylar wrapper. All right, what does the sign say? I kind of like the graphics on it. Danger, hot ashes. Basically, don't put your foot on the fire pit. It's great you have to like literally put a giant thing that says danger, hot ashes on every fire pit. Kind of scary. All right, Jim got gold. Literally, and I walked right over that area so we're gonna go out and see what Jim got. Well, I'm walking over to see Jim's gold ring, but I just found this. Sunglasses. Sorry. Sunglasses. 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 I can barely walk in this right I, It's killing me, man. Uh, that thing is massive. Thumb size. <laughs> Shut the front door. <laughs> Oh my god, it's huge. It's definitely gold because it's Oh gold. no, that's gold. No, it's marked. Wow. It's all it got all sorts of writing on the inside. 
I found a nickel. You know what? I went over it. My eyes? Uh-huh. 10 carat. I can actually see it. You can see it? I didn't even bother to look. Look at that. Nice job, buddy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you, you know what this rang up? Negative. No. Take, take a look. Here. Let me set it down. Jesus, Jim. You're... I know. I can barely even move right now. All right. Ready? Yep. 31. That's pull tab. I'm 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 cooked. Did you uh did you talk to this guy yet? No, I have I was just walking that way just oh, to say hi. I, I turned off my machine so he so didn't I, I found a nickel. It's actually just sitting on top. The last gold ring Jim just got was a 31, which is actually pull tab territory. What do we got a 31 again? Oh I should have made this a would you dig it. Come on twins, God, that would have been a great would you dig it. It's what I thought the first one was going to be. Because <laughs> it went to 31. <laughs> yeah. Negative 16 again. Sounds like another bread, you know, twist tie. <clears throat> oh, I think it's a bobby pin. It is. I see it. There you go, Ricky Bobby. Is that a shot glass? No, it's just some, well, it might actually be plastic shot glass. Get it off the beach. All right, guys, here's a wrap up. Um, again, I actually did go back to that beach and I'll show you what I got there, except for I cannot find the good stuff that I found there. I did get a little gold and silver that day, but unfortunately I can't find where I put them. Uh, so at any rate, I did get a, what I call a candy cane tent stake. I got uh, a copper or brass screw. Um, I did get a few of these fragments at the same time. I just didn't film them. I got one quarter, three dimes, one nickel, and I got part of a GM key. Um, I, I think I got the whole thing, but I can't find the tip of it either. And um, I did go back after work, and I did again find a little bit of gold and silver. So I'll show you what I did find um, aside from anything really good. All right, I got a lot, and I mean a lot of little pieces of copper. Look at all that. And then these are flat pieces of iron, and man, they can sound really good. They'll get a low tone. I got uh, a couple plastic bottle caps, a lot of tent stakes. I got a few, um, can't find them, but I did get a, at least a couple um, bobby pins. Oh, here they are right here. I got a couple bobby pins right there. Um, I got a couple stainless steel screws and bolts. Got a little bit of sunglass hardware. I uh, got a couple really kind of freak things. I don't know what this was at one point in time, but it was some sort of jewelry. Um, I did also get, you ready for this? Part of a syringe. I didn't notice what it was when I put it in my bag, but it is an old, um, what's, you know, the, the needle, thank God, is rusted off, so I didn't put that in my bag, but it is part of an old syringe, so that'll go in the, the garbage, obviously. And then I got this little funny little piece of, I don't know what that is, but it sure looks like some sort of piece of little, you know, I don't know, jewelry of some sort. I got three quarters, two dimes, two nickels, one penny. So I got the cycle once in the afternoon. Um, I did also get this, and I didn't know I had it until I was just going through all my stuff, and I thought it was just another piece of copper. But it is actually, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'll see if I can kind of zoom in on it a little bit. That is a little horn, a trumpet, uh, made out of silver. So I got a little silver that I didn't really even realize I had. So interesting as heck, that's for sure. And if you guys are interested in the products I use on the beach, I do use a CKG Sand Scoop. I love my titanium sand scoop. I also use a gold pull tab uh, scoop as well, and I do use the Tony Eisenhower waterproof headphones. If you're interested in any of these products, there are links directly to them on the description of this video. So just go to the description of the video, look for the link, and you are good to go. All right, guys, here is the last wrap-up. Um, I did find these sunglasses. It's funny, I was walking over to look at Jim's gold ring when I found those. So um, I guess I got a consolation prize, maybe? 
the old cactus cooler can again when I was a kid in the summer. That was my absolute favorite drink. Um, but you know what's even crazy? Back then I actually knew where a trash receptacle was. Threw in the trash when I was done with it. Imagine that. Um, then I got uh, this weird little hook. I'm pretty sure it's Captain Hook's hook. You know what's funny? It's actually off of a plastic um, a coat hanger. And, and the way I know that is, is I've seen a bunch of these. And what happens is they float in because they're plastic and then they break, the plastic part breaks off and uh, this is left behind. So that is, uh, you know, garbage related. Uh, got some foil. I got a couple of tin, uh, a couple of uh, pieces of uh, aluminum cans, a um, little squirt bottle top, got some old plastic uh, caps. Um, I don't know. I think this is just a cap of like maybe... I don't know, something. A uh, little bit of painter's tape, some wrappers. I got this little doodad, um, you know, that runs cord through it, and you can tighten it. Um, I did get one quarter, one penny. I got this, and you can kind of see it coming through, but there's actually a little bit of, you can kind of see the copper color on it. So it was junk chain at some point in time, probably a bracelet that broke. Um, and I also got this bracelet which has these funny little reproduction if you will junk um chinese coins or asian coins i don't know a lot about you know their theoretical origin but these old asian coins i know my grandmother used to have a lot of these actual you know a couple hundred year old asian coins so that is the entirety of it what I do want to show you guys is what I do with all the byproducts, the uh, steel, the iron, the plastics, the plastic bottle caps, all those things when I'm done um, going through it. I just want to show you guys what I do with all that stuff. So I'm going to do that. So I decided to make another video you can watch right after this one that does have all of the things I find on the beach like sunglasses and bullets and keys and I'll show you what I do with it all. Also, if you guys are interested in CKG scoops and products, uh, I do love my titanium sand scoop. Amazing, amazing tool. Um, I also do use the gold pull tab uh, scoop, and I also use Tony Eisenhower headphones. If you guys are interested in any of those things, just go to the description of this video, and there is a link to all of their contacts. All right, a lot of people have asked me how to get a Pirate Mike t-shirt, and for a long time I was trying to you know, ship them from here, and oftentimes I didn't order enough to have the right sizes for people, and it was getting just cost prohibitive, and the shipping was crazy expensive, and um, so I did uh, get to a point where, and also my printer said he couldn't make the small batches I was ordering, so um, I did set it up where you can go directly onto our um I did set it up where you can directly link from all my videos to uh, Spring. And Spring uh, has all sorts of cool stuff, like check my coffee out. Pretty cool. Um, and you can get all the stuff on the Spring site. And uh, I will try to set up a link where you guys can uh, just go ahead and click at the end of the video. But if I don't have that up soon, just know that all the videos do have a link to the uh, shirts. If you have problems finding it, go ahead and put it in the comment, and I'll uh, see if I can get you a direct link to it. Hey, guys. Pirate Mike here. just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel, and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Love it. If you guys would subscribe, you can just click on my head right here, or you can watch either of these two videos.